I'm about to do another video for myself, for you guys. Uh, how I see the market. I'm currently looking at AUUSD. This is my screen up right here. I have my triangles. I have Scott Carney's um, his harmonic patterns, and I also have my harmonic patterns actually written out because this right here for some reason I wasn't quite catching it although I have it right now but in the beginning I needed to read it a little bit more um, in sentences so to speak the way I the way my brain works but anyway let's head over to AU and um, looking to trade this because it is on my list to trade this week um, starting with the 240 I want to stay with the, the H4 time frame and up so I, I pretty much trade the daily and the H4, as I just said. Um, I usually try to map out the Elliott wave and its correction moves to get a, uh, an idea as to where the market would possibly reverse in and give me some entries for trade. So what I'm going to do here, i um, going to mark out the Elliott wave pattern as I see it. Um, it's always five waves. One, two, three, four, five. Um, what helps me to identify where the Elliott wave begins is most likely, for one, it's the first wave, the retest, and then the third wave is usually the longest, the fourth, and then the fifth. And then we have an ABC correction, which for me would look something like this. A B C but before I even get into that um, I probably will look at structure to where I'm gonna put C yet so I'm gonna put C like around here somewhere so looking at my point of reactions where the banks are making the moves we can tell by the strong impulses these are where the banks are making their moves um, do I see any harmonic patterns? Sometimes I, I do put the support and resistance levels. Um, we can put a zone right here, a nice small zone right here. Um, and we can even put a zone, let's say, right here. So right now we're currently in a demand zone. But I'm, I have a feeling it's going to pull down into this level of a demand zone and I'll show you why lately um, after but anyway so looking at this move here so one move two three where am I looking at it what am I looking at as far as a, a harmonic pattern so now I'll take my fib and go from the relative high to the relative low which would be right around here and looks like we're probably gonna end at maybe a 50 or 61.8 Let's see. I had nothing in this. Let's, let's, let's go for 61.8. Oh, look, perfect. So, we're at 61.8. And we're going to try to do an AB um, to get the C level, rather. Um, I think it's going to pull down in here. I think it's not finished as of yet. And, and the reason why I'm saying that it's going to pull down here because within this harmonic pattern, I see another harmonic pattern forming. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this level here. And it's looking like it's going to be a bat formation. Let's see. Let's take off the 618. Did I use this one down here? There we go. There we go. So one leg up, down. Looks like a bat formation. Um, I don't know what this this is here. What's the zero? I'm sorry. I don't know where did this come from? Oh, there we go. But anyway, so this is why I'm assuming that that my B is going to come down into this level here because I'm looking at another formation, another bat formation here. X A B C. 
thing. So I'm assuming that from this zone to this next demand zone is going to come in and then it's going to break up up into here finishing off this one but this formation here a Gartley looks like it's what it's forming so X A B we're going to say this will be C and then this would be D uh, Gartley would be a, a 786 and let's just put this right here Sorry if this is kind of sloppy. So looking at my C right here. There are some extra confluences as far as where I'm going to take this trade. Let's change the color. Where I'm going to take this trade, um, as you can see, and just some tips that I've learned from J Pips over at FX Legacy and just different things I try to add in to get more confluences as to what I'm seeing, why I'm seeing it, how I'm going to take the trade. So, you know, he does a, a something which is the the one-to-one -one ratio of a, a harmonic move, which basically would look something like this. You just pretty much draw one impulse leg. And then I would just kind of clone it. And then take it from here. Ah, come on. Sometimes this trading view, I tell you. Whew. I'm going to take it and let's say if it does stop here. Ah, look, it actually ends right at our 786. If I was to bring it down here. So, let me just get rid of this here. We have that. Um, I tend to label my things just so I know what's going on. This is my clone AB leg being that this is my first leg of the high making higher lows um, I'm going to use that one my ABA oh I'm not going to use ABA for this so anyway so this is my clone leg right here this is my take profit area for my um, Gartley pattern um, other things I can do to get more areas of confluence we see now that um, it is in the realm of structure, but if I add the 886 as well, we have some structure as well. You see how it comes over into structure? So this is going to be a complete zone in which I'm looking for um, a reversal. Uh-oh, let me go again. So let me just get rid of this. It's just a horrible video. But sometimes this is how it is. <laughs> so this is going to be my complete zone in which I'm looking for my my reversal. Um, my B C leg on this. So this is my C, my B C leg. Um, if I bring it up, a minimum of um, 161.8. Huh. I'm looking at it right there. This is Scott Carney's method right here, and use I just kind of like tie that in. This is my BC leg. So what I'm actually thinking is that price, and this is fall, and also calls, and some it also shows a level of stru some structure, right here. As you can see, look at that. So let me just take this off, and I'll use this right here. So what I'm going to do is I will wait for price to hit this area here before I take a sell. Which probably means that this Gartley may be invalid. Alright, so XA, let's do an ABA. A, oh, let's get rid of that. Let's do my ABA. My A, B, back down into A, comes up to where? Oh, 272. Hmm. My ABA is 272 confluence. So this is quite interesting here. Well, actually, maybe the BC can be um, a 113. 
4272. Okay. Actually. Alright. So now this makes sense. This is my BC leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take probably put a sell stop right around here. Once my price um, hits the 786, if it closes above or even goes above, I'm going to put a sell limit up there. Um, if it doesn't, I'll put a sell limit at the 1272. Yeah, and everything's working in confluence here because my clone leg of my AB stops pretty much here. My BC is here, my ABA is here, and also the completion of my 786. Now, price could hit its maximum point of 886 and still be a valid pattern. This is a zone right here and because it has not closed above or gone above my X. So it can still very much be valid. So what I'm waiting for is to take the buy from my D leg all the way up to the C. Because C to D is supposedly the safest uh, place to trade a harmonic just in case um, it invalidates from the D. You can kind of get stuck out there. So that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for some buy signals once I get down into this area. And how do I know this is 880, uh, 80, 886? Let's put my bit back on it. Forgot I took it off. Let's put it right there. Let's bring it back down here. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. The extreme. I can just probably put a buy limit at the 886, but I'm working on um, the candlestick analysis, and I'm, I'm usually I like the wick entries, and once it hits, and just go ahead and go. But I'm working on something personally right now as far as my entries are concerned. So that is what I see. This is a 240 chart. So pips are in the making. Um, if you want to have want to understand a little bit more about the Elliott wave, correction pattern, harmonics, um, even interested in some copying services, uh, learning harmonics, just let me know. I'm here. This is what I love to do. Talk to you later. Bye.